Hi everyone, this is a tutorial to show you how to connect your lateral braids at the beginning of the round as you work. Uh, when I was creating my Why Not sample, I used duplicate stitch after the garment was finished. But if you'd really prefer not to do that, there is another option. Um, one of the testers of the Why Not Tea came up with this, so thank you, Lisa. Um, I will do my best to uh, show you here what her idea was. Now, you'll need a crochet hook for this. I'm using a two millimeter crochet hook here, and I apologize in advance for my lack of crochet skills. Uh, so, the last stitch of your round, you need to first of all just elongate that stitch a little bit because it's coming off the needles. You don't want it disappearing anywhere. So, off the needles. And then, you're locating the first lateral braid stitch of the round. With your crochet hook, you're going to come underneath the two legs of that stitch from the top of your work as you're looking at it to the bottom. So through those two legs like this. You're then going to catch that stitch that you took off the needles um, and bring it through those legs. Okay, and you can pop it on the left needle for a minute just to keep it secure. You then locate the last lateral braid stitch of the round, which is this one here. You're gonna bring your crochet hook from the back to the front through the center of that stitch. Okay, and you get that stitch that you just popped onto the left needle temporarily. And you're gonna pull that through the middle of that stitch. And then pop it back on the needles and hopefully what you can see is that it does create almost the same effect as a duplicate stitch and it joins the, the lateral braid together um, without the need for going back and kind of sewing it together later so it's a really good option um, if you would prefer to join the lateral braid stitch as you work.